Hi, Arty Army Arties, and welcome to Adventures in Space. Today, it's night. Meaning that tonight, it's an episode. of so I have no idea where I was going with that. Anyway, let's just leave that behind us. Pretend it didn't happen. And we will, we will go on about our days. And I just realized that the moon kind of works like a clock for me. Uh, because I think that, yeah, the sun rises here and goes something like that. And that means that the moon will have, I will see from the side, about where it's day on this planet as well. With me being on the very south pole over there. Or north pole. Depending, I mean, I don't even know which orientation it actually is. But the way I look at it, from my perspective, it's the north pole. So, there's a little bit of night left, but as we can see in the distance over here as well, it's uh, it's soon becoming day, and that's that's good. Anyway, there are things I have done. Ooh, wow, things that have been done that I haven't shown you. Yay, I'll tell you about that in a second. Let's go to the, the car first. Ooh, car. Also did some changes to this. Uh, mainly, I moved the wings down and put them side by side. Multiple reasons for this. Firstly, they fit really well. Uh, I didn't change anything in the general design of the ship. I just put them there. Uh, <laughs> there was a three block space just asking me to put them there. Uh, also, it is not above the wheel before. If you remember, the other wing was right above the wheel, so we couldn't lower the car down. And now we can. And that's why I did that. So there we go. There we go. Uh, we have a body location here. Let's. That's the wrong button to remove that. Uh, I wish this body location stuff disappeared by itself. Once you've been close enough. Uh, anyway, so this is a modified version of a oh what's it called uh of a portable mining platform uh so the design is pretty much the same as the portable one uh, that i tried out in a creative world and uh, let's do that this guy spins around this guy pushes pushes down and it mines out this hole uh it goes continuously you don't have to it, there's no timers there are nothing uh, the, the speed of the pistons and the speed of the rotors are all set up so that it drills out this entire hole without any timer or human interference. <coughs> and then it goes over to a large conveyor which is enough to store all of the ore that is collected from this, or at least according to my testing. And on the portable one, there's simply a landing gear on the bottom instead of these two pipes. There's a solar panel sticking out from the side, and there's a connector on the back here. And the plan is to have a, or the plan was, to have a car, a large ship car, that could go out and build these with the nanite factory. Uh, however, I realized that it's probably just easier to put the thing on the car itself so we're gonna try that today that is what we're gonna try today so uh, we're gonna build a large ship vehicle yeah yeah blah 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 Wish I could find a way. Do 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 do. Do 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 Dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust, and another one's gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Dun, 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 dun. Another one bites the dust. Dun, 
doom, doom. Another one bites the dust, and another one's gone, and another one's gone, and another one bites the dust. Yeah! Doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Woo! Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's set this thing up. No, I haven't done this with three pistons, so I have to, well, do a little bit of guesswork. However, you should be 0.5. And do that. And I mean, we can turn on the drills immediately. So they're gathering stuff. Gather, gather. Gather, gather. Oh. We're too far away. Okay. And then we have the pistons. Probably at the bottom here. Yep. And if I had three pistons or two pistons, I would do this. Uh, which might have been too slow. Anyway, it's not, you can't go too slow. But it should probably work. Now, let's see. Now, I just have to wait and see if something explodes. That's <laughs> that's what I gotta do. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Uh, so, because the pistons are pushing out so ridiculously slow, which, honestly, I didn't even know you could go this, like... I'm assuming that you could probably just put a 1 here and a 0 there and it would still work uh, now that I think about it because it has all the digits. Uh, but I didn't know you could go that slow, which is really interesting and nice. Okay, this looks good. I turned it down to 3 instead of 5, so pissed on. Zero, zero, 003, which is a lot slower. Uh, in my testing world... Wait. Did I set the piston rotor to... Oh, 0 0.5. In the, uh, in the testing world where I tried this the first time, the rotor was going 1 meter per, se per second, uh, or 1 RPM, and the pistons was 0 0.01. So a 1 here instead of the 3 back there, which is a pretty different. Or is it? Or d yes, very different. Um, basically, we had to have that here. Uh, why? I do not know. I do not know at all. But it works. Mm, look at all this tasty, tasty uranium. And all this stone. I have so much. I cannot fit it all in one cargo container. In one large. <laughs> so much stone. <laughs> I have everything I ever dreamed of. Or I will have. I will. Sooner or later. Oh, so much. I've never seen so much uranium in my life. <laughs> so good. Fuel time seven days? One hour? Do you know how much uranium I have? Do you even know? Okay, let's turn off the batteries. I think they're messing stuff up. 40, yeah, two, two weeks. I can leave the game for two weeks. And refining, which is not that much, to be honest. That's probably way too much. Let's just do that. And then remove you. Yeah, there we go. Black magic boss our way. But the will of a Templar is stronger. Lock. Thank you. Don't need you anymore. Go into my bag, please. Wait, are you gonna try to repair this now? Why do you have ore? No, don't fix it! I'm trying to remove it! No, no, don't do it! Don't do it! Aha! Okay, okay, you were doing that. Okay, I thought you were messing with me. Oh, this is so many different parts. Why is this so... I... Lord. Why do you have so many parts in this? It's like every single part. And why is it not in here if you are decided to have every single part in it? 
It's not that you can't do it, because you did with the other guy. And this, this, one, uh, one of the beacons are in here. Uh, there are two beacons, but only one is here. So, but yeah, that's, that makes sense. Uh, okay, that's, uh, brilliant. Okay, this looks good. So we have six blocks wheel, six blocks wheel, six blocks wheel. And then that means we have four wheels. And I'm happy with how that looks. Threw it on the ground. Nice. Nice. Mm, now we need to... Uh, reload because lag. Now, let's take a look. Wow, that is a massive car. Big car. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, look at these. Speed upgrade. Oh, look. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Oh, look. Another one. And another one. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. That was... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna disagree. That was pretty weird. Uh, but that's... That's... That's why you watch this, isn't it? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think the right side here with uh, the fo the four long ramps uh, looks better, and I think it will allow me to uh, basically build around like this much easier than having this because I will still need like platforming around here. Perfect time to run out of hydrogen. Thanks, game. Thanks. It's not the game's fault. It's my fault. Anyway, thank you, game. <laughs> that actually looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it does. I'm not sure I'm 100% sold. Uh, it's suddenly, like, very straight here. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to remodel this part then. Nope. No, thank you. Nope. 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 Why is building stuff that looks good so hard? Screw you, architects. Screw you and your professionalism. Okay, I think I finally, fi finally, finally have found something that I can say that I am happy with. Uh, it could possibly be better. Uh, but the only way I can find that to become a thing is if I had a three long ramp. And I don't, and I'm not that invested that I'm gonna go download one just, just for this. Uh, and I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it does. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. And we should have enough space, but we'll have to find out by building the other side and s actually spinning this thing. Fast forward and half an hour or so later, here we have the change to build. I've changed it a couple of times, a lot of times. Way too many times, to be honest. Uh, but here we have, well, we have the original shape here uh, that I showed you. Uh, changed it a teeny tiny bit over here on the side to give us this little flat area over here. Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? That's like twice the size of my base. Actually, let, let's just make it the base. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just make it the base. It will become the base. It's our new base. Mobile base achieved soon-ish. Uh, okay, so here we have the basic framework laid out in its somewhat entirely, uh, entirety. Mm. <laughs> Let's look here, look, look, look. Uh, so we have a lot of space on the top here. We will not fit everything we want to fit in the front and the back here. So we have two identical compartments in the front and the back and the, uh, I mean the... The nanite factory seem to be like, yeah, I'm just gonna take this block here, and then I'm gonna take that block there, and I'm gonna take, oh, you see that block over there? Yeah, that's the next one after that. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have a perfect order. Uh, it might be that it gets messed up while I'm building, so actually placing block changes the order. Uh, and my theory is that it's trying to build the last placed block, like the most recently placed block. Anyway, so I I don't have a perfect plan. I'm thinking landing platform on the top here, maybe. Yeah, we'll see later on. See if we do some flying stuff. Uh, I'll need to make... I, I have a, f a ship that I'm planning to build, and I'm very excited to get to that. But it will be able to land like a helicopter, 
It's not going to be a helicopter, so <laughs> don't expect that. Uh, it, it, the helicopters are good, but they're slow. And uh, they're very power efficient, but I don't need that right now. Uh, so yeah, I'll need to decide uh, exactly on what I'll do here. But we need refineries and stuff, and at some point we'll need to put this guy in. This is the high performance centrifuge. Uh, let's see, can we put this? Yeah, there we go. It's four block talls, uh, so we will have him visible in the floor here. Um, it is not, however, symmetrical. Is it? Does it? Yes, it does fit in like this. Does it have ports on the side? It does not have ports on the side. However, we can put this on one side and refineries on the other side. I think we'll have something pretty neat indeed. I just realized how ridiculous this is kind of... <laughs> <coughs> kind of a little bit. So here we have the big, the big uh, centrifuge. Uh, I ordered the parts. Uh, I also had to do this manually like the... Uh, the other guys there uh, wasn't as bad I mean it was only one thing that I needed to order for but uh, now I'm out of ice because I needed some ice to build that guy as well I needed some water bottles which is a custom part for that thing do I have nope what's all these uh, okay yeah that's antenna beacon so out of ice, ice. need to go grab some ass and uh, yeah I've got the elite all the elite tools now um, I'm interested in seeing how the uh, thing will turn out. Battery, recharge off. Are you full? No. Let's go, flight. Uh, thrusters on because they're useful. Fly on the wings of love. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, this episode is a little bit different than I thought it would be. I I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I haven't done editing yet. But I have so much footage uh, that I didn't plan on having. So yeah, we've, we've got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, let's turn it out. Let's just go. I want to go up, 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 up in the air, up in the air. I'm flying in the sky. The lake should be behind here. Nope, it is not. Am I going in the wrong direction? Yes, I am. Let's do a quick turn. Way to quick turn. But it worked out. It always works out. Let's go in the right direction and find this bloody lake. Why do I keep losing this lake? It's like the most important thing that I have in this area. And I keep losing it. Was it... It's somewhere I can't travel by car, I know that much. So it should be over that bridge over there. The lake is not here. Wow! How do I lose a lake? How? Uh, could that be the place? Oh, that could be the place. I believe. Nope. Why am I so bad at GPS locations? Why do I not just put a location like here is the lake? Don't lose this because otherwise you're out of ice. I see it. Over there. Found it. It must be over there. Okay, we can turn off the thruster and just glide. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Inertial dampeners on. Handbrake off. Nice uh, landing! Handbrake on, inertia dampeners off. Woohoo! Beautiful landing! This is a beautiful spot. This is really nice. This is really nice looking. I even have graphics set to low, the lowest, so I can keep the frames, well, not terribly on the smooth. It says, it says that I have 70 frames per second, but it feels like 24. <laughs> This is your captain speaking, Olaf Walker. Today we have a nice weather and we are going to take flight at 5 p.m. We will be at the base at about 6 p.m., 6.50 if we are happy. And uh, we'll uh, start off right away. So have a happy flight and uh, oh yeah, I'm the only one on this plane. What the fuck am I doing? 
We have full thrust, we have achieved 1.7 kilometers per hour. I think there is something that I have missed. It is possible that I have yet to release the handbrake, and that is probably exactly what I have done. Let's try turning off the handbrake, and we will achieve flight in just a few seconds. Ouch! No! Action sequence finalized. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I named the lake after me. So, there we go. This might have become a really odd episode. Uh, I don't know. I have a ton of footage uh, that I don't really know what I want to do with. <laughs> I have this guy. We have that. This has became a much larger product, project than I anticipated at first. It was just going to be, well, this. A little bit smaller, maybe. And cargo. And that would be it. But now it's more, now it's our base, now it's our home, it has everything, and I need to figure out how to connect everything. Well, everything is connected. This guy goes from the top, it goes down, goes through, and final connects over here. Which is connected to the cargo containers on this side, so we have a total of 8 large cargo containers, which is well enough. We have the two refineries here, everything is connected together. Now all we need is reactors, gyroscopes and stuff like that uh, to make it drive. And then we are kind of set up. The lawnmower of doom is going to be operational soon. We just need it to be built. Uh, but it's taking a while, it's taking quite a while to be honest because uh, the nanite factory is not the fastest in the galaxy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. If you did, feel free to leave a like and share. It helps the video and my channel a lot, so I would appreciate it if you do. But however, if you did not like it and you hate this with all of your heart, leave the dislike and I shall see you for the next time.